Lately, there has not been a day where the Islamic Defenders Movement, commonly known as the FAI, has not occupied the headlines. For decades, the movement has generally been known for their raids of restaurants during the fasting season. But in 2016, the organization rose to new heights, capable of shutting down Jakarta for their anti ahok protests. fall of Suharto in 1998, dissatisfied with the moderate Islamic organizations like Muhammadiyah, who respected Pancasila as the guiding principles of Indonesia, Rizik, along with other Islamic hardliners, used the increased freedom of expression to found the FAE. As the center of the belief is Amar and Maruf Nahim Mukar, the belief that Islamic principles must be upheld and immorality fought. This includes the belief that Indonesia ought to be founded based on Sharia law. With these principles in mind, the FAE began their movement. In 1999, one of the first notable acts of dissent is their protest of then-Governor Sutiyoso, demanding he close all clubs and bars during the holy season. It was at this protest they began wearing their trademark white robes. from other Islamic figures and organizations, including former President Abdul Rahman Wahid. Organisasi Bajian. In 2008, again the FAU went too far, attacking the Alliance for Freedom of Religion and Belief in the capital city and at the National Monument, resulting in dozens injured. For their act instigating this, Rizik Munarman and a few other FAU members were sentenced to one and a half years in prison. Having waged a long war against the Ahmadiyya, believing the sect of Islam to be heretic, many, including the government, blamed the FAE for the death of three Ahmadiyya members, who were attacked by a thousand people mob in Banten. Many in the government suspected the FAE for instigating the incident. President Yidoyono even threatened to disband the FAE if found guilty. In retaliation, the FAE vowed to overthrow the president if he dared disband the FAE. In 2014, with Ahok becoming the governor of Jakarta, the FAE began their campaign against him, refusing to be governed by a non-Muslim leader. They finally gained traction in 2016 in his anti-blasphemy charge. And the FAE's struggle and fight to create Indonesia under Sharia law continues to go on. With over 18 years and over 100 violent acts under their belt, the FAE shows no signs of stopping. Will they succeed or will the government finally take action and stop the FBI from enacting their form of street justice, vigilantism, and violence?